Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about fishing and how to unlock fishing. So when you complete the story or act 10, you'll unlock this new quest over here called Hook on Fishing. It's going to be in quest letters over here right under factions and crafting. It's going to be a letter called Hook on Fishing, you want to read it, and it's going to tell you to go to Fish Belly Pub. You can do track, and voila, it's going to tell you to go here, and you're just going to teleport right here, and we're going to talk to the NPC there. Once you arrive at Fish Belly Pub over here, you're going to turn left over here and you're going to run to the docks. And voila, here's the guy. You talk to him, he's like, oh, this is a tutorial, we're going to teach you how to fish, blah, 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 blah. You're going to complete it, and voila, he's going to give you one of these training baskets. What you can do is you can put it on a hot bar, like what I do here, and just put it on your 6 key or 7 key or whatever, and you're going to go to the shining spot right here, and then you're just going to press 6 or whatever you put the uh, hot bar on. Then you're gonna notice that over here you have this F key. You're gonna wait until this arrow becomes an up arrow. Another thing is you can look at the little bobby pin over here and wait until there's a lot of water splashing around to press F. We're just waiting, you see there's a lot of water now and you press F and voila, there's a little animation and I caught a rainbow fish. You can skip this animation by if you have a item on your hotkey. So let's say that I have my bait over here. The moment I caught the fish, in order to cancel the animation, I just press 7 again on my hotbar and I can immediately start fishing again. So you can save a little bit of time there. So now let's hand in the quest. We're gonna hand in the quest and we're gonna get 20 of the baits over here. And we also got a little quest over here called reeling in the blah da blah da blah. So next thing we need to do is we need to go to Sari Palace Gardens in order to get our earthworm over here and our bait fish. So let's go over there. We also get 72 silver, so why not? Once you arrive at the Sari Trading Post, you're going to run forward over here. There's going to be a fisherman right here with a little star on his head. Talk to her and she's going to be like, oh, you hand in the quest. And then you can uh, you get all this, you get both the bait fish and the earthworm and voila. So now you have 10 earthworms, you've got your uh, bait fish, and you also have the bait basket. And that's it for the fishing quest, and you've completed it. However, let's say that you're on an alt and you have not completed Act 10. If you have not completed Act 10, it's fine. You can simply come to Dasari Palace Gardens, just talk to the NPC over here, and go to this tab right here, bait. And you can immediately buy the regular bait for 3 silver. So you're going to need to buy maybe 10 of these regular baits, catch a couple fish so that you do have some angler pearls, and just go buy the bait fish. I don't really recommend buying the earthworm. Um, the main difference between the bait is that you can catch different fishes. So the bait basket allows you to catch common fish, the earthworm gives you a small chance of catching rare fish, and the bait fish gives you a high chance of catching the rare fish. So in my opinion, I just buy the bait fish. I start with the bait basket, I just fish as much as I can in order to get enough of these angler pearls to buy the bait fish, and I buy like 20 to 50 bait fish and then I just go fishing. And then once you're done fishing, you'll get a bunch of these uh, angler pearls and you can use them to buy the event currency over here on this tab. Keep in mind the event currency is no longer in the Dragon Express. If you want to buy your sacred vials or whatever, you will need to come to this, fisher, uh, to this fisherwoman over here in order to get your rewards to redeem it. And also, in order to open up the window to see how many fish or what type of fish you've caught, you press Control L on your keyboard. So when you press Control L on your keyboard, it's going to open up this window and you'll see over here how many angler pearls you have. You can also see at the bottom left over here, right next to your home moon coins, how many angler pearls you have. There is a limit of 90,000, so after you got 90,000 you can't get any more. And you can also see that you have leisure points over here. So there is a limit of fishing. I believe you can catch about 75 fish every single day and then you'll have used up all of your leisure points. It takes around an hour, an hour and a half. So these are the rare fish. Uh, I have not caught the orange swordfish, the sunset salmon, or the red tilefish yet. The biggest fish I've caught is probably this pink tilefish, 103 cm so far. This is the biggest one that I've caught. But yeah, good luck on fishing. Personally, I don't think fishing is worth it, but, and I never really was that interested in fishing. 
but it is something nice to pass the time where you have nothing else to do and you're just kind of bored and just chilling in voice chat with a bunch of your friends. This is definitely something that you can do to just pass the time while you're waiting for a raid or while you're waiting for your teammates to gather up to do a purple train or something along those lines. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Hopefully it helped. If it did, I would appreciate a subscribe as it really does help out my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heels